As a men's health physician, this is something that I deal with on a daily basis. And I want to give you some information, some talking points to discuss with your own provider. This is a medical information presentation. The usual disclaimers apply. This is not doctor-patient relationship, any of that. But I want to spell out something that is very clear and important to know. Like any medication on the planet, there are always risks and benefits, and it really behooves a person to have a conversation with their provider, practitioner, physician, nurse practitioner, PA, whatever, to discuss how it applies to their particular situation, their risk, their family history. So what we're talking about is hair loss, and the two most common used medications are finasteride, better known as Propecia, and Deuteroid. So what is in a number? What I'm getting at here is the PSA, the prostate specific antigen. It's something that's secreted by the prostate. It's measured in the blood. Most of you who are watching this are familiar with it, but it is used as a marker to help determine and risk stratify prostate cancer. In the U.S. alone, according to 2019 data, there were nearly 10 million prescriptions for finasteride. That doesn't account for people who obtained it from other sources or due to steroid. So the combination, obviously, <clears throat> of all those agents is well into the, uh, the mid 10, 15 million range, so to speak. So what, you might be asking, what's the big deal? These medications, just by the mechanism of action, they work on something called 5-alpha reductase inhibitor. And this has a documented effect on PSA results. The bottom line, the take home point here is that a normal PSA may no longer be considered normal for patients using these medications. Unfortunately, I had a grandfather die of prostate cancer and another uh, grandfather die of liver cancer. The prostate cancer in the United States, uh, roughly 30,000 deaths per year. It's a number two cancer killer in men, and it's the most common solid organ cancer in men. That solid organ would be like liver, kidney, spleen, those type of things. What the data show is that these drugs can decrease the PSA by up to 50%. So an abnormal number may suddenly appear normal. So if a patient is not disclosing this to their urologist or their primary care doctor, it really can increase the risk of missing the diagnosis. It used to be that a doubling of the PSA was a red flag that's no longer valid for people that are using these medications. And even if there is an increase and it's still within the normal range, this still is generally considered to be a concern based on the data, which I'm gonna give you some links at the end of this if you wanna dive into the information yourself. So the bottom line is really that for People that are using 5-alpha reductase inhibitors for the purpose of this discussion, hair loss, although they are used for prostate enlargement as well, uh, it's really behooves the interpreting healthcare professional to interpret the PSA number with caution. There's some data that show that there are some calculations that can be done uh, based on how long a person's been on a 5-alpha reductase inhibitor, particularly finasteride. Uh, these are... Um, all comer data, if you will, and there are obviously always outliers in medical studies. So even though this may apply to the general population, it doesn't remove all risk. Here are the uh, links uh, that I used in creating this presentation. I think the bottom line point here is that if a person is taking any medication or supplement or uh, something that is maybe fringe, it really is imperative that the practitioner, the professional on the other side of the desk or exam table really has a clear understanding of what is being used and taken. So very simple. Hey doc, I uh, started some hair loss medication uh, nine months ago. I'm 55. You can check my prostate at the annual exam. Just thought you should know. I'm not sure how you'll interpret that in terms of the lab, but uh, you know, some family members of mine had prostate cancer. So I just wanted to, in interest of full disclosure, bring that up front. So hope you found that helpful. As always, comment, like, subscribe, and share. Be safe, be well, have a fantastic week.